what's up everyone welcome back to the channel boozer here so this is it this guy right here is the next fusion that we've all been anticipating like i said in a previous video Plarium will be releasing a fusion they already confirmed it in their raid digest um, from previous week so this is it let's jump on into his kit i haven't read his kit yet so i'm super excited to go over it with you guys and uh we'll go over our initial thoughts so stick around all right guys so this is the kit for the champion blizzard the howler first of all he looks amazing i'm actually super hyped about this just because of the way he looks he looks awesome he's basically the abominable snowman yeah it just looks awesome uh, we're gonna go over some notes here this is what plarium has to say about this champion so they're saying december 14th like i said guys i hit this on the on the head the other day i said 14th or 15th it's going to be the fusion and this is it the 14th is a thursday and then the 15th is the friday so we're going to be seeing a summon rush on the 15th i almost guarantee it for you guys and it's going to have fragments for this champion or pieces for this champion as well as titan points guarantee it anyways let's jump into his kit ogren tribe defense based he's spirit affinity um so blizzard the blizzard the howler would be a great champion for fire knight hard so he's a pve champion for fire knight hard okay you know we could use some more champions nut was a great fusion for that blizzard can place freeze debuff with two of his skills a1 and a3 with the a1 being a three time triple hit that's great that will definitely help take down Fyro's shield faster and will give you a chance to place freeze debuffs. Okay, very good. So similar to Nut uh, in the way that he interacts with the uh, Fire Knight, at least with the triple hit part. While the A3 has a 100% chance to place freeze, okay, on all enemies. That's great. That's a uh, area of, of attack. Decrease their turn by 3%, something that can be handy when dealing with the Fire Knight himself or controlling the waves. Blizzard Howler A3, A2 will be great in Arena as it allows to remove all control debuffs. So it's a cleanse. And place defensive buffs on the team. So he has a cleanse. Okay, just got to read this. Just build Blizzard with high resistance and you're good to go against enemy crowd control champions. <laughs> it's asking a lot, right? Like you're placing debuffs and then you are you have to build for resistance as well. It's asking a lot. Also, this Olgren Snowman-like champ can be very annoying when it comes to their passive skill as Blizzard revives himself after being killed and places revive on death on himself with a reasonably low cooldown. Okay, so he has like some unkillable uh, mechanic. On top of that, he is basically immune to freeze debuff, so it can kind of backfire when someone is trying to freeze our Olgren. Honestly, this kit, like I haven't read any of this stuff, so I'm like looking, at, not looking at any of this stuff. He sounds awesome right now, like just with his kit. He sounds actually very good so i'm actually really hyped up right now we literally just got this news by the way um and you know what they actually give a nice little tidbit right here guys please note that the format of the fusion will be different a bit different but already familiar you will need to fuse the legendary champion from epic champions and you will be you'll need to summon the epics from fragments okay guys so it's going to be a hybrid fusion collecting fragments for epics fusing the epics into this champion um in the past i don't remember i don't remember how difficult it was i think it's a mix it's not full-on difficult but there's no room for error if you miss the fragments for the epics you can't really recover by pulling shards and hoping for a rare like a traditional fusion and it's obviously not going to be as easy as a fragment fusion um where they can give you you know more than the uh, necessary 100 fragments allowed so i think this is going to be a, a little bit of a mix of difficulty but i think it is definitely going to be on the more difficult side so let's jump into his actual kit here guys so what do we got here frozen caltrop so caltrop is like a trap triple hit on random three hits on random so it's going to be you know important against single target boss but less so against waves each hit has a 40 percent chance of placing freeze so books up to 50 percent chance of placing freeze you know that's uh that's a really high percentage of landing a freeze period so he's going to get some turn meter drops here so that's really really good uh his a2 cryotherapy five turn cooldown requiring books down to three turns remove stun sleep okay so it's not a full cleanse like it kind of read like a full cleanse but uh it did say control debuff so okay so remove 
these debuffs. Then plays increased defense and ally protection. Wow. Three turn cooldown. That's really strong. That's really strong. You know what? This guy could even play in uh, in clan boss. He can remove the stun. He can remove the stun as well. And plays increased defense and ally protection. I mean, if you're running a, uh, you know, a killable team, this type of ability is really, really strong. Really strong. A three turn cooldown. Yeah, really strong, I think. Um, not so much for arena like it was saying in the description but honestly this is a really good move i would expect this move to be like maybe on a four turn cooldown but three turn really good i'm really excited about that um spike blizzard five turn cooldown down to four turns with books attacks all enemies so aoe places 75 percent chance of placing freeze 100 percent of booked up 100 percent for one turn also has a set 100 percent chance of decreasing turn meter by 30 percent four turn cooldown on an AOE freeze with a decreased turn meter. I mean, that's really strong too. I mean, you could play this, you know, kind of in arena, like or obviously arena with stone skin and stuff is gonna mess mess up any kind of debuff, obviously sheep as well. Um, but the turn meter reduction should always happen. So he always has a 30% turn meter reduction. Um, you know, I, th I think it's still really strong. I think it's still really strong. He has a 100% chance of of, remo of uh, placing freeze, so that's going to affect the Fire Knight as well. Um, you know, five books in here, five books up top, so 10 books total. He has a passive here. I'm going to move my big head. He has a passive here. Abominable Snowgrin. I like it. Four turn uh, cooldown on the uh, active ability. Passive ability. Whenever an enemy places a freeze on this champion, instantly transfer it from this champion to that enemy. Okay, that's pretty nice. I feel like there is a champion with this kind of ability. I don't remember. I think Riho. Like, Riho has an ability like this. Not as, not specific to freeze, but uh, she has it on all debuffs, which is better, obviously. But he has a second part, an active ability. Cooldown, one turn. So total 11 books, which is, you know, reasonable still. Active effect. Whenever this champion is killed, revive them with 30% HP and turn meter and please un revive on death. Wow. Wow, that's really good. I mean, he's not gonna he's not like the game changer. He's not like a game changing champion that having him come back makes, you know, a big, big difference. Like if he was a reviver, that makes a huge difference. But you know giving him an extra shot to come back i think is um really really nice i mean it's just an extra bonus here right it's, yeah it's a really strong kit i think i'm really hyped about it um for me i don't really know exactly where he would fit in best but just based on his kit it looks super solid super strong if you're progressing through the game i think he's going to be really really good He's good in a lot of areas. Obviously, he's catered to Fire Knight right now, but I think his kit overall is just really good in many, many areas. All right. Just wanted to pop in game real quick and check the Fire Knight um, affinities and how Spirit stacks up. So Spirit actually stacks up pretty well against the higher levels of Fire Knight. So actually, you know, there's no affinity issues here. So I think he'll do just fine for his intended purpose. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Hopefully you guys liked it. I'm pretty hyped up for this champion. I think he looks great. I think his kit is solid. Um, and yeah, uh, I, I'm worried about the difficulty of this fusion, especially with the tournament event that's going on right now. Like I said in a previous video, there's going to be a summon rush next week. And I guarantee that there will be points for this uh, Titan event for tournament, as well as probably pieces, fragments for the epics for this legendary fusion. So be prepared for that, guys. Try to go easy on those um, big shards if you can today and this weekend for the champion chase. And that'll be my warning. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have a great Friday and enjoy your weekend. Definitely hype for this guy. Uh, best of luck in your polls. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.